So welcome to our weekly Let's Talk Cars. We're here at Motelands this weekend, South East Supercar Club. Look at all these cars here. Now a few of them are gone now, but we're gonna take you around all the cars. I've been on a sim and we're, well, you'll see. But yeah, we've seen GT8s, McLarens, lots of Porsches, but yeah, have a watch. We're gonna wander around with us now and you can see all the cars. So we're going to start right at the top car park at Motelands, GT8, sold R1 to Adam Peaty, I still love the look of these, I mean they look fantastic, really nice colour, like the red, like we had on our black one, a Ventador, it's like an SV, matte black finish, I like the wheels actually, same as our STO, GT8, lovely green, I think that's my favourite colour for it actually. Um, goes well with these lime accents. GT3 RS Wysak, really nice looking car, Miami blue. And I like on these that you've got the carbon on the bonnet, carbon roof, and carbon on the rear spoiler. But these are a fantastic track car. Then coming round, car we had before, 600 LT Spider, fantastic to drive, lovely steering. Um, actually miss it a bit actually. And then we've got at the end of this little run, STO. I think I saw this car at uh, Creative FX actually. Um, I mean, I'm not sure on the colour, it's like a matte sort of greeny gold, but again, the STO is just a fantastic looking car. But let's move on to the sim racing. So here we go PT Motorsport in a F1 hybrid Spa. Gotta get used to the brakes. I haven't got much feel through the steering, so I'm gonna to have to try and work my way back through the pack. So I've got loads of understeer. So these guys, PT Motorsport, they're here today. I'm gonna, I've got no brakes. Really interesting driving this. I haven't really driven one like this, and I've got no pedal feel. These are your pedal readouts here, so if you hit the brake now hard, so that's full brake. Yeah. You need a lot of brake. Yeah, it's interesting, I can't feel the brake. Well, it's because you, no, you can't get any feedback through the pedal. There's no, that's, oh, that's, okay. That's not a thing that anyone's developed. So we okay. can't feedback through the wheel. But um, there's not much feedback through the wheel. A little bit, a little bit heavy. Let me try here, because I know my braking zone. So maybe it's just a case of hitting it a bit harder, like you say. Well, yeah. I can swap Let's it to the, if you don't like the uh, force feedback on the wheel, I can swap it to a different profile. It will change the feel of the wheel completely. Yeah, because I can't get the car turned yeah, in. Be, yeah, it's over. A bit better, I'll get a bit more turning now. Just take me a bit of time just to adjust in. Because I haven't got that initial bite on the pedal. You've got ABS on, so you can just smash it. Oh, can you? And it'll yeah, break. We'll just deal with it. Okay. Right, seventh, eighth gear, Spa. But I just want to get a feel for this Fanatec, because it's very different to mine. I can't 
can't hit the brake any harder than that. Oh, still can't get it turned in. Right, up the hill then, flat out. Oh, gonna push you a long way too far. Right, it's one space. Cool. Ah, well, it's very different to mine. I haven't got the feel in the pedal on the brake. Steering wheel and that feels good, but struggling. So I can't really feel the front tyres. Well, let's see. And the force feedback is quite interesting because it feels quite sort of jolty. Graphics are really good actually. I know it's a Seto Corsa, but the graphics are really good. But as I say, in the steering, it feels a little bit jolty, not quite as smooth as our one. But yeah, we do this lap and then we carry on having our walk around. So we just got off the sim. Now we've got AMG Black Series. Really like these cars, um, probably about 450K, maybe a little bit lower. They are dropping down a little bit, but black, I think, is definitely the color. 675 LT, had these before, Spider. These are going back up in value, sort of approaching 300s now, maybe a bit more. Interesting colour scheme. I actually quite like it with the, the blue McLaren with the orange. Then we got 812 GTS, looks like. These cars are still holding their money strong over list. 488 Pista, really good car. That's a car I'd like to buy, actually. Really, really good car. This one, Porsche. 997 GT3 RS again really really good car these were always like 130k but now they're 180s 200s now um, quite nice in white actually Lamborghini Gallardo this looks like maybe a Super Leggera looking at these Oz Super Trismo rims Expo another black series here in orange um, much prefer the black colour on them and then we head our way down and go and see our cars so we're here at the vvs section they've got here so we have got an 812 lovely blue i think that's tour de force blue lovely spec actually i like the black with the yellow i think they're painted shields as well this is the new ferrari 296 gtb hybrid I'm trying to get my head around the looks because i always feel they look a bit like two cars hopefully uh, the owner will let me have a drive in this as well actually at some point engine is sat right down um, but yeah it's a nice looking car silver yellow with the red um, then we've got there's only 77 of these aston martins so it's like a vantage and then it's been made into like this spider um, it's a fantastic car but a lot of money 1.2 million um, but there's only 77 so you know you pay the money you get your car Lamborghini Huracan bit of a wing on it looking a bit like an STO nice white red black wheels Porsche GT3 it's got a Sharpworks exhaust really like the wheel color it's like a not bronze but it's like a goldy like a light gold color then coming down to our cars today the big dog Mercia Largo SV only 28 right hand drive three UK cars left Mercia Largo is one of my favorites we saw it on the way down it looks mega on the road STO this is our purple STO this is just the best spec STO I think and uh, I'm looking forward to reviewing this in the next couple of weeks I love the purple yellow brakes black wheels is fantastic so what we do now we head over to where the P1 is and do a little bit more filming there so Ferrari TDF lovely color triple layer yellow and then we've got the Holy Trinity well apart from the Ferrari's gone so we've got uh, two of the Holy Trinity so we've got McLaren P1 which is our one today in yellow 200 miles one owner car and this lovely yellow volcano yellow um, we've got it signed by Frank Stephenson as well um, drove it in today a few little niggles but it's all running now I'm looking forward to getting it back and driving 
918 Spider. This is another car I looked at with the P1. Um, decided on the P1 in the end, but 918 looks fantastic today. I mean, they always do, but I actually really like the black with the sort of lime accents on there. And the LaFerrari has gone. So we'll move over to somewhere else. So McLaren Senna, if I was going to have a Senna, I'd definitely have it in this spec. I absolutely love them in black. I think in other colours, they don't look as good. And this one with the, like the JP colours is fantastic. And the gold struts on the door looks amazing. Gold wheels. Um, I think these are undervalued, actually. Um, they dropped down, dropped down to like the 500s. Um, they've picked back up now to, to 650, 700, and I think they'll probably make their way back up to 8, 900. But yeah, it's a fantastic car right at the front of Moatlands. Um, the owner's Peter here, um, who owns the house and owns this fantastic Senna. Right, we'll keep on walking around. So we've moved down to the guest part where everyone's come in. They've paid £20 for charity for the day here. Now, Mercia Largo, love these. Very rare manual gearbox. Not sure if this is a 640 or no, it's a 6.2. So it's one of the earlier ones, like the colour, obviously into yellow at the moment with manual. One of our Astons over here, V8. Still a good looking car, even better when it's a CTR, but they're still lovely looking cars. And the LJ55, one of them must have the, the first ones produced. Alpha, I love these little cars, but apparently they had a lot of problems um, driving but I'm sure that the, there's companies now that can sort the suspension and make that really nice. 911 Carrera 4S, great all round car. I can see a 918 GT4 over there. There's a few McLarens here. We've got McLaren 570. Um, is it a 570 or 540? Difficult to tell, but yeah, these are a great entry level supercar, super quick, probably don't need anything more. Is 570S now. 720s this is a car i've been thinking about i think these are just brilliant value around 130 to 150 as quick as a p1 i think they're lovely looking orange is quite nice i probably prefer it in black but it's a very good car and then go back to the old 675 lt this is a coupe in chicane gray i think they call it with orange calipers which is really nice and again these are back on the rise turbo 996 had one of these before a convertible one um, actually didn't drive it then I bought it to sell on um, but they're a lovely looking car yellow lights I think he's been racing now let's go over here GT3 RS in crayon it's a lovely car it's one of my favorites yellow calipers black wheels noble not sure what model this is, but it's a 12 on the plate, so it might be a, like an M12 Noble. Ah, oh, 458 Italia, love these. Um, I had the Speciali, but the standard car looks fantastic. Red with cream, you can't get much better than that. R8, still such a good entry level car, isn't it? Super car, you do whatever you want in it, not lose a fortune. This one's got ceramics as well. 488 GTB. Uh, I've never driven one. I'd like to drive it with a turbo just to see. And another V10 R8 there in a lovely blue. Um, let's spin back round here, Dan, so I can see a 540C next to an STO. So let's go over here. Now, originally, this is how I was going to spec the STO. I wanted it like a Batman spec, so a grey. Yep, yellow calipers. See how much carbon he's got. Hasn't got carbon on the snorkel. I think we have. Um, no roll cage, but yeah, I really, really like this. Um, and this was the colour before the last minute changed to purple. But this would have been, I think, probably second choice, definitely. It looked really, really great. Right, so let's head back up the top and then we we finish off. But if you have a look round where Dan is, look at the cars here today lovely collection of different cars it's been a great event actually really well run i'm looking forward to next year already but yeah let's head back up the top and we're we we'll finish this off right i've just seen some other cars here and i wanted to come round them nice ferrari but i want to look at the porsches so we have got this is a 997 looks like a generation one gt3 3.8 Maybe Generation 2, because I see there's the little white bit on the lights, but I like this, I like the Rothman spec. 
again another one here try and think whether this is a, a normal Carrera or a turbo there's no badging but maybe this is a turbo it's got the twin exhaust on the back this car I always remember this car the GT3 so it looks like it's in a club sport spec but this I remember Evo magazines writing about how good this car was I think the 996 looked a little bit plain to be honest but it's a real hero car for me I'd love to drive one one day 997 turbo nice looking car this always wanted one again never driven one but always wanted one it's a lovely car and up here I got a feeling uh, Carrera GTS I, I thought it was something different then but really like the shape love the black like the lights actually I like everything about this one I thought it was a Carrera T which I've been really interested in in getting and tuning but let's just go up here one more second come on Dan come with me found another car the Mercedes up here I think these are really good value and a lot of car look at that that's a really nice car that very clean lines it's like it might even have hasn't got ceramic brakes but that's a lovely car 650s we've got a nice performante Gallardo just swooping by as well interesting looking at this because obviously it's the front of the p1 the 650s there's even more cars up there aston's 720s christ how many cars are here oh purple gt3 rs we used to have one of those really really like this car and next to another 675 lt there's so many cars here oh yaris there you go looks quite tall compared to them but that's a, another little rally car could be a lot of fun but yeah i really like these cars and I'm very tempted to get back in one. It's just so good to drive. The wheels and tyres look massive on these. Huge. But yeah, this, I like this purple colour. As you probably know with the STO. That's got a sports exhaust. Actually, I'm going to wait for this to start up later. I think this could be a really cool car. Right, so let's head back up and we're finished with the centre. Right, so we're walking up and we found CSP here. With a car that's been sprayed by Matt Lewis. What a car it is, Escort Cosworth. I think this is mm, Mallard Green. I think ours is obviously slightly different being petrol route. I think it's Mallard Green. Obviously all the interior is out. You can have a look around it. It's absolutely immaculate. This is sort of a bare metal respray. I actually saw the car at Matt's. Um, and then this is all going back to absolutely, you know, nut and bolt correct as possible. Because obviously it is difficult to get parts on these now. It's quite interesting having a look in the car as a shell. Um, I would have thought it's probably not far away there's a little mirror under there and you can see all the diffs and everything on the back and the suspension but yeah I've got a love for Escort Cosworths so I think they're absolutely fantastic absolute poster car for me and they've got a lovely selection here Ferraris and Porsches, Lamborghinis of different customers um, of theirs and that just gives you a bit of a view up to the main stand up there as well right let's head on up Ah, that's what I wanted to know. Put, put it on, put it on camera. Hey, there's the Porsche. We've got to hear that go, haven't we? He's got a sports exhaust. Although they are being told that they're not allowed to race up that road because they're being very naughty. But let's see. We, while we're going down, let's go down here and see this scooter here. So quite rare to have a white scooter here, gold wheels. Again, this has been totally restored. Um, we've got our red scooter here, which unfortunately we're selling. Um, but it's a lovely looking car. They just haven't moved much in value. They are really nice to drive. I think they're good to look at, but the Speciali and Pista just take it another level on the looks. Still can't hear that GT3 RS go out, but yeah, it looked like it had a sports exhaust. Also got an Aventador here. Uh, this is a limited edition, I think. At the 50th anniversary of Enstall. Oh, you can hear the Porsche now. I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, it's pretty loud. Um, but this Aventador, lovely colour. I like the red with the black with the red calipers. goes really well. And you've got another one there as well, actually, Aventador. Um, still one of the best looking cars around. But the single clutch, a little bit clunky. But once you get used to it, it's still very, very good to drive. Right, we are going to head up. So, Dan, come on, let's go. So 
So here at Premier GT, they're here at Motlands, and they've got two of the cars I actually would really like to buy. So 488 Pista, this one's a really good price actually, 340. These are going up, Nart Stripe, carbon fiber wheels. I think it's one of the best specs I've seen. But I want to look at this Mercedes Pro, because this is a car, you know I like limited edition cars. There's only 500 of these, and I think they're really good value now. I think this is up for about 170K. I think this is quite a good place for your money actually. It's a really nice car. So we'll wrap up there, but we've had a really fantastic day. I'm looking forward to driving the P1 home, having another look round, maybe have another go on the sim, but we'll see you all soon.